Anthony Kopp. I'm JP Mistanza. It's Thursday, March 25th. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBC Phuket. Visit them on Facebook. Police are investigating human skeletal remains that were found in long grass beside a pond in Ban Manik and Sri Sutorn yesterday morning. A local resident found the bones at about 11 a.m. Wednesday in Sri Sutorn. Nearby the bones were a sports shirt, shorts, and two large plastic bottles of water joined by a length of rope. Police have taken the remains to Talang Hospital, although they believe the person had died months ago. For more, visit the PukaNews.com. The casino kingpin, who is accused of running a slew of illegal gambling dens in the east of Thailand, in Rayong, especially in Chonburi provinces, well, he's now being re-arrested for allegedly ordering the murder of a police informant. Residents in the heart of Rayong province at 6 a.m. this morning, along with his 26-year-old son, Tana. The son was accused of hosting gambling and money laundering, but the father, well, he was already arrested in the middle of February, accused of being the head kingpin of a network of illegal gambling dens operating out of the east, including Rayon and Chomburi province, all linked to the spread of COVID-19 late last year and early this year. Somchai was later released on bail after that arrest, but now police believe he ordered the death of a 47-year-old taxi motorcyclist Pratum Saadnak, who was shot dead behind a school in Pattaya last July. In the wake of that death, police arrested two men for the murder, both hitmen. But a police source told the Bangkok Post that, before his death, he had shared evidence with police of illegal gambling at a local gambling den in Pattaya, which was then raided by authorities. Now they say that they've traced the death, allegedly, back to Somchai. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Charges are forthcoming against protesters who participated in an anti-government rally in Bangkok's Raja Prasong intersection on Wednesday night, according to police. Wednesday's rally saw thousands of demonstrators pack the busy intersection in the heart of Bangkok as they continued to demand reform of the monarchy, along with the release of several protest leaders who are being held and charged for Les Majeste insulting the monarchy, which carries a max 15-year jail sentence. Police say that about 11 protesters who made speeches on Wednesday evening will be prosecuted, along with anyone who showed banners with messages insulting the royal institution. It all came days after one of the most violent demonstrations since the protests began last year. More than 30 civilians and police were injured in a clash at a protest near the palace in Bangkok last Saturday, as police used water cannons, tear gas, and rubber bullets to disperse the protesters. For more on that, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket News will be right back after this. For the best mosquito screens available in Thailand, contact PVC Phuket on Facebook today. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Thai music superstar Sek Loso is about to spend 42 months in prison over a conviction related to an incident back on New Year's Eve, or just a, day, a few days before that, on 2017, after losing his appeal this week. The Minburi Criminal Court read out the ruling this morning as rock star Sek Loso lost his appeal and is now being arraigned on charges of resisting arrest, threatening police with a firearm, and using drugs. It all stems from an incident on December 29, 2017, when Sekloso, right after a live-streamed performance at a temple in Nakonsi Tamarat province, he fired nine gunshots into the air. Two days later, on New Year's Eve, police arrived at his home to arrest him, and a standoff ensued, captured live on Sekloso's Facebook page. Police ultimately did arrest him and took urine samples. They found that he had also tested positive for traces of methamphetamines. He later sued police and claimed he was bipolar, which the court had dismissed. Prison officials are said to have taken Sekloso from Minburi court to Minburi prison, expected to see out his 42-month sentence. For more, visit thepukanews.com. 97 new COVID cases in Thailand today as the total for the kingdom now reaches 28,443. The death toll is 92. 94% of total patients have recovered. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PVC Phuket. Visit them on Facebook. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. 
Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.